They come from the furthest reaches of La Belle Province. They are here seeking honor and glory. Supported by their friends, family, and fans, only one will be crowned Quebec's strongest man. the North American Vent Lines Canadian Strength Athlete Series. Good day, everyone. From Gatineau, Quebec, I'm Paul Borgard, along with Sam Dubé, professional athletic strength coach. How are we doing here today, Sammy? We're doing great here, Paul. We've got the strongest men in Quebec vying for that title of Quebec's strongest man. And you know the French Canadians always had an attitude, and they've been known to have an attitude throughout the planet. They have a tremendous tradition of strength dating back to Louis Cyr. Okay, let's start with the lineup. Frankie Bono is 31 years of age, 1.73 meters at 120 kilograms. Frankie the Bulldog Bono is a tremendous power lifter. Also in the lineup, Stéphane Boucher, 34 years old, 1.85 meters at 113 kilograms. This student recently won the Macamick Championship. Christian Savoie, 27 years of age, 1.93 meters at 136 kilograms. From Windsor, Quebec, he is the wheelbarrow champion of the province. Roberto Saint-Pierre is 36 years old, 1.80 meters at 113 kilograms. This bench press world record holder has been training hard for strongmen last year. Patrick Lemieux is 26 years old. He's 1.88 meters at 129 kilograms. He's a kinesiology student with a grip of steel. Dominic Bivibi is 32 years of age, 1.88 meters and 132 kilograms. A plumber from Laval. He was a last minute contestant. And from Chattagay, Quebec, Steve Bourgeois, 33 years old, 1.91 meters and 145 kilograms. After a year off, the model is back and he wants the title. Justin Boulay is 29 years old, 1.91 meters and 137 kilograms. He is the reigning and defending Quebec's strongest man. Jesse Snadden is 20 years old, 1.83 meters and 138 kilograms. He's the youngest competitor in this contest. He's going to do really well in the shield. Dominique Fidiou is 26 years old, 1.98 meters, a whopping 194 kilograms. From Hull, Quebec, this colossus is the largest strength athlete in the world. Yannick Normandin is 31 years old, 1.88 meters and 136 kilograms. This national powerlifting champion is a physical education instructor. Jean-Pierre Houle is 23 years old, 1.75 meters and 100 kilograms. He's the smallest man in the contest, but he came in seventh last year. Crowd and Gatineau ready to go. The message I have for the competitors out there, even though I was injured and I'm not quite as strong as I should be, I'm still stronger than probably everybody out there in the field. So, you know, just watch out because here I come again. I got one message for all the competitors. Don't blink because you might miss me. I don't have much to say to them. Maybe you should stay home and watch me on TV. Well, maybe he's got more to say. Stand by for the North American Van Lines Canadian Strength Athlete Series on TSN. I've been the champion for three years now. It's going to be my fourth year this year. I'm the one, I'm the only one, the champion of Quebec. We'll see about that, Jensen. First event of the day, the hardest truck pull. Sammy? A classic strongman event. 45,000-pound truck, 75-second time limit, 80-foot course. <laughs> Grip is one of the key factors here. Here's Yannick Normandin. He's first up. Yannick Normandin is a Canadian powerlifting champion, two-time champion, in fact. He's known for his squatting prowess. Watch the technique here, Paul. The idea is to stay low, keep the hips low, pull as hard as possible with the arms, Take little steps and keep the truck moving. Yeah, you don't want to lose momentum at all because if it starts slowing down, you're going to have to pick it up from the beginning. Exactly. 45,000 pounds is a lot of inertia. If that truck slows down, it's very, very hard to get it going up again. He's doing quite well here. Excellent. He's doing the right thing. He's speeding up very slowly but surely. The truck's moving very well. Look at it go. Yeah. What's his time? 44.68 seconds. Well, that's the time to beat for now, Paul. 
Up next is Steve Bourgeois. The model Steve Bourgeois. He was out for a full year with a very serious back injury. Herniated two discs. We saw that happen last year. And he can actually return to, com to competition? This is his first competition back. He's not fully recovered. I wonder what the doctors say about him doing that. I don't see the doctors pulling the truck. <laughs> no, as a matter of fact, we don't. Well, I like Steve Bourgeois a lot. He's a true warrior. He's a technician. Look at him go. Truly a monster. He's like jogging with the truck. Oh, he's moving really, really well here. It's almost like the, the truck's going downhill. He's going to beat Yannick's time. As a matter of fact, he did 34.50 seconds. Let's hear what he has to say. How does it feel to be back? Feels great. Uh, hopefully, I'll say that again after the next four events. We'll see. Yeah, we're far from done here today. Jesse Snadden is up next, one of the younger competitors. He is, in fact, the youngest competitor, about 305 pounds. He's got the full complement of supporters here today, Paul. Let's see how well he does. This young man concentrates on his technique, incorporates Olympic lifting into his training. Very, very strong in the legs and hips. Look at him go here, Paul. Yeah, short strides for him. Beautiful, that's it. Got to keep his hips low, pulling well with the arms, taking small steps, keeping the truck moving once again. Now, Paul, excess body weight does come in handy here. The heavier you are... As a matter of fact, it does. ...the more you can use that body weight to keep the truck moving by falling forward. He's moving the truck quite well here. Let's see what he does for time. He's got 40.21 seconds. I Not bad at all. That's right, but behind Steve Bouchard. Now, look at him move here, using the arms well, taking small steps. He's up on his calves, very, very hard on the calves yep. here, but he's incredibly strong in the legs and hips. Dominic Filiu, the big man, and I mean big man. 428 pounds he weighed in at today. He's the largest professional strength athlete in the world. Muscular, that is. Left knee injured recently, Sam? That was last year. He actually dislocated that knee in training. So he's kept it wrapped constantly. Look at him move. He is yeah. running yeah. with he's 22 with and a half tons. <laughs> Using really good technique here, keeping his hips low once again. Pulling up the slack. But the, the truck track. just rolls through the finish line at 30.50 seconds. Let's hear what Dominic says. Can you tell us a little bit about your technique there? Just uh, keep the tension on the rope. Try to uh, always uh, keep the rope tight. And uh, pull as hard as I can. And push with my legs. Up next is Frankie Bono. Frankie Bono, Never the again. Bulldog. Frankie has consistently surprised spectators with his ability to lift extremely heavy weights and move quickly with objects like the super yoke. Also good with the showmanship, Frankie. Frankie is incredibly strong in the power lifts, Paul. He's 5'8", about 265 pounds. Came in sixth at this contest last year, and he's consistently moved up the ranks. Now, what kind of training is involved in this kind of event? Basically, you've got to pull vehicles. Okay, that's it? Vehicles. You can pull a, sh a smaller vehicle up an incline. That makes up for the deficit in weight. Now, look at him go here. Yeah. Really pumping with the legs. He's a 700-pound squatter deadlifter. Man. He's incredibly strong. Yeah. Built like a fire plug, as I say, a bulldog. <laughs> look at him go here. Now, that stature of his 5'8 does work against him in a lot of events, but he's not suffered not for all right. it. all right at 36.06 seconds. <laughs> the old Frankie growl. Up next is Christian Savoie. Christian Savoie is a big man from Windsor, Quebec. He's a butcher and a lumberjack. And he actually holds the Quebec record for the wheelbarrow. For the wheelbarrow. That's right, the wheelbarrow. He's very, very strong all over. He's got a strong grip. His work is part of his training. He's about 6'4", 300 pounds. Yeah, he's a big boy. Looks determined to make good time here. Needs to keep himself a little bit lower. But he's pulling that truck well. It's still going well. It's speeding up. Very, very nice guy to speak to. All right, let's see what he did for time here. 36.87. As we continue with the truck pull. He's happy with that. You can see he's a little bit pigeon-toed. His toes are coming in there. That's a normal technique. A lot of guys will do that to get a better grip. They don't realize they're doing it.
Jessen Paulin. The myth. Jessen Paulin is the defending Quebec strongest man. Three-time champion, in fact. He's a veteran truck puller. Oh, man, look at the size of those biceps. Look at those arms. Leaned out considerably in the last few months. He's known for the strength of his arms, lower back. He is very, very strong, and mentally he's very focused as well. Any other members in his family that do the same kind of... Actually, it's surprising. His, his parents are not large people. You're kidding. <laughs> and I met one of his brothers, and uh, no, Jessen got all the size in the family. <laughs> now, he actually went to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, to represent Canada with Hugo Girard at the World's Strongest Man last year. And let's see what Jessen's time is. 34.34 seconds. Let's see what he has to say. When you heard about Dominic's time, what were you thinking when you're getting strapped into the truck? Uh, I think it's going to be a pretty tough time to beat. So <laughs> I better do my best truck pull ever. And I think it's one of my best I've ever done on this event. So I'm, I'm pretty happy. He's also out of breath. Dominic Filiu picks up the lead with 12 points at 30.50 seconds. He's followed by Justin Paulin, Steve Bourgeois, Frankie Bono, Savoy, and Snadden is six. Stay with us. We'll continue after the break on TSN. Uh, at the Canadians last year, I uh, herniated a couple of discs in my back, and uh, I'm just kind of had an operation in February, and I'm still recovering from that. I haven't really uh, had much time to event train or even core lift in the, the gym, so uh, I'm just not really ready. But the season, of course, doesn't wait for anybody, so I'm just going to try and do my best. Strongman profile: a presentation of Prolab. Yeah, I'm Steve Bourgeois. Uh, I'm from Montreal. 6'3", 330. Um, I like sports that are tough and not that sports that are that are difficult and, and not everybody can do. I mean, uh, I like uh, and this is a prime example of, of a sport where it's it's so tough that uh, you see very few people competing in this. So so and it's it's a sport that I, like, I enjoy doing because it's uh, because it's really hard and mentally you have to be. Um, strong to get through the, the training and, and especially in the competition. That's the first time I've <laughs> My best event is um, probably the fact that I don't have any really bad events. So everything is, is not great, but I don't have anything that I'm really bad at. Just try my best. That's what I can do. That's all I can do. Yeah, there's nothing normal about what we do, and I'm glad that uh, the people think that it's kind of a... Um, uh, crazy sport, and, uh, and we're, we're glad to do it. And uh, if it uh, entertains people, I'm happy. It entertains me every day. Young and old people love this kind of competition. As we continue, it's now time for the Atlas Stone Semi. Another classic event. They have to lift five stones, increasing size onto 50-inch platforms in 75 seconds. First up is Yannick Normandin. The first stone is 242 pounds, or 110 kilos, Paul. Time factor again, Sammy. 75 seconds. Let's Second see. Stone. Let's see what Yannick can do. 264 pounds. Very easily done. 308 is next. Wow, he's taking advantage of his strong lower back and legs here, Paul. Are the Quebec strength athletes a little better at this than most other competitors? I'd have to admit, yes. In general, uh, Quebec is uh, right now the strongest province in Canada. They're sending the top four competitors from this competition to the Canadian Championships. All right, he's going for stone number four oh, and three, now three, number one. five. 386 pounds, a legendary fifth Atlas stone. And once again, what, what is he doing? He is playing with the tacky on his forearms. Tacky is a substance made of rosin and turpentine, extremely sticky, enables him to get more friction on the stone. You can see the technique here, bending over, round back lifting, pulling the stone to his thighs, then he just oh. pull the stone. And he calls it quits after four stones. 32.65 seconds for all four. Here's the replay. Watch the technique here. It requires a full extension there of the upper body using the back and shoulders. All right, let's see who's up next here. Oh, yeah, Dominic Filiu. I think he's going to score well. Dominic Filiu, the Canadian colossus, has wowed audiences all over with his tremendous size and strength. He's an up-and-comer that's sure to make a mark. Stone number one. Look at that. That was 242 pounds. Yeah, that looked too easy. 264. 
Look at the size of his arms. It's like paper mache. You here. could play a movie on his back. <laughs> He's a very quiet young man. Trains very intensely. I still think he's got a lot of potential. Let's hear it for him, Paul. All right, let's see what he can do. Come on. Whoa, a little slip there. Wow, now this is the fifth stone. 386 pounds. He's pulling the excess tacky off his biceps, putting them on his hands, giving himself a little bit more adhesion to the stone. Come on, here we go. Pull it tight to his chest. Now extend up, extend up here. Oh, pull it almost another three, man. four inches. He dropped it. Mm. Oh, too bad. Does he still have time? Or He's that's it? Time, that is it. Four stones in 18.30 seconds. Excellent time for four stones. Christian Savoie is next. Frame does help here, being 6'4", 300 pounds. Will help. Good, just picked it up just and just... It up that's there. it. Like a basketball. <laughs> oh, you've got to be careful there. The it rolls referee. off. Mark Lozon making sure that the stone stays on top. Watch the technique here. He's got to pull it up to his thighs, sit back, pull it tight to his chest. This requires total body strength, including strength in the hands. Oh, man. Wobbles his way up to the platform, 50 inches high. Deposited well. He's got the Can he stone. go for the fifth stone? Can now. he go? Here's the Rolls Royce of stone. Yes. He wants to get that fifth stone up. Taking his time. Yeah, he has plenty of that. He's got four stones in good time. He's got to crack this off the ground. Oh, up to his thigh. oh. He's making the tacky stick. You're slapping the forearms there, giving you some little, little nibs on the tacky. All right. Come on, come on. And watch the technique here. He's got to crack that off the ground. Oh, man. 386 pounds, and that is it. Four stones within 28.62 seconds. He's very seconds. happy. Now look at him here. He makes his way to the platform. Then he's going to engage full body extension, erectors, upper back, shoulders, legs, and going up on the toes, deposit the stone. Next is Frankie Bono, the bulldog. Being a little shorter is a disadvantage here. Only 5'8". These are 50-inch platforms. 242 throws it up very easily. Yep. Now, in the past, Frankie's used very high soled shoes to give him some extra height, but I don't think he's using them here. He wants better mobility. Third stone, this is a great feat of strength for a man of his stature. He's incredibly strong. He doesn't him. seem to be struggling that much, to tell you the truth. No, but it is more difficult when you're shorter to put yeah. those stones on the platform. Absolutely. Just ask Gary Taylor at the Worlds. Many, many years ago, had a lot of problems because of his height, and he was 6'1". Then again, on certain other events, being too tall won't help you. Exactly, exactly. And that's why Frankie, part of the reason why he's so good on the power lifts. Now, All right, Frankie, here. come on. Fourth stone, 331 pounds. Look oh, at that extension. Man, Beautiful. Five. Yes. That's impressive. That He's is impressive. a happy man. That was incredible. They're getting that fourth stone up onto that 50-inch platform. He's pumped now. He is definitely going for and it. And he's going for that fifth stone as well. That was truly impressive, Paul. Let me tell you. All right, let's go. You notice the belt he's wearing, increase inch abdominal pressure. Yep. Take the pressure off. Oh, that is it. Is he that almost it? got it to his thighs. If he can just get it to That's his thighs. That's it. That's it. Calls it quits after four stones, which he lifted in 49.70 seconds. I think that might be the first time he got the fourth one. Steve Bourgeois, back in the competition. Now, the stones are pretty tough on the lower back. Look at that. He just manhandles that stone. Herniated discs, you were saying? Two herniated discs. This guy, he was being modest. He couldn't even walk. After the injury, he was he was seriously hurting. It's taken him many, many, many months just to learn how to walk again. Man. He's no pain, no stone. gain now is he, what I've heard over the years. He has done this fifth stone before. He's he a has? Veteran. He has. 386 pounds. Let's see what the Shattagay native can do. Here he goes, Steve the model. Taking his time, tightening his belt. He knows he's got time left. He's willing to test out his back. You should see the scar on his back. I would be careful. I would definitely reconsider. I think he's gonna, I don't know. Come on. No, yes, no. That's it. 19.75 seconds for four stones. Here's a replay. Now watch him here. Full extension up, very hard on the erectors. Upper back and shoulders. Manages to hang onto the stone, uses his abdominals. What were you thinking when you got to the fifth one, given your back injury? Uh, I was thinking, man, this is heavy. But uh, no, it didn't seem to bother me. I'm all right. And uh, 
I saw with the way the guys are improving on the stones that I really had to rush with those four. And that's what I did. And uh, I'm happy with 19 seconds. But I know the myth will probably get all five. The myth. Speaking of the myth, here he is. Jason Bollet. He is truly the master of the stones in Quebec. Now, he, be, he was the first man in the world to officially lift a number five Atlas stone in competition. Look at this guy go. It's unbelievable. Third stone. He's not even breathing here. You know, he's just running. Watch this. Fourth stone. Uses long arms and legs. He could go bowling with this. He just manhandled that fourth stone. Watch this. The fifth stone. To his thighs. Look I at this I cannot car. believe this. Look, Look at, at this. him go. What was fingers? He's got it. Beautiful he's extension. got it. Look at that. Amazing. And the time? And the time? 26.46 seconds for all five stones. That is a world-class time. Better than world-class time. That's a world champion. Unbelievable. I watched extension here. Now look, look at his right hand. Ooh, with fingers. But he manages to extend again. That takes tremendous back strength. You didn't even hesitate attacking that fifth stone. Oh. And then you got a little stuck with it, and then you extended your back and completed it. Yeah. I didn't even take one breath before the fifth one. So that kind of uh, kind of uh, got me on the pole. I rested on the wall, regrip, and all five again. Again, let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Justin, the myth, Pauling. I think it's safe to say he won the event, right? Yeah, absolutely. 26.46 seconds, picks him up 12 points. He's followed by Dominic Filiu, Steve Bourgeois is third, then it's Savoie Normandie and Lemieux. And after two events, Paulin and Filiu are tied for first place, followed closely by Steve the Model Bourgeois. I'm Jesse Snadden, and you're watching the Canadian Strength Athlete Series on TSN. What else do you have to do? Watch us. Yes, watch and learn. We'll continue after the break on TSN. Frankie's power. Yeah. You're gonna need it. Next event, event number three, is the deadlift hold. The car deadlift hold. 650 pounds at the handle. The competitors are going two at a time facing each other. They have to hold the car as long as possible. Let's begin. Frankie Bono versus Jean-Pierre Hull. Now, this is a static lift or isometric lift. Very hard on the focus and concentration. Look at these guys here. They're going, as Steve Bouldrow would say, to their happy place. That's right. In the zone, my friends. Now, this is a true test of overall body strength. They have to stay stable. Works all the stabilizers of the torso, trapezius muscles, shoulders, hips, legs, you name it, calves. And Look at Frankie's boots. That's right. He's now, getting a little leverage there. I'm a little bit confused as to why he chose to wear the boots. It makes it harder to lift the car off the ground, but maybe he's getting some better stability, and it is within the rules. It is. It is within the rules. Okay, let's see what... Oh! 39.42. Now, Frankie's, Frankie's still, still going, yeah. There's a bit of a disadvantage to going first like this. You don't know what times you have to beat. Oh, Frankie did all right. Now, I'm sure he wore the boots there to get some better stability. 51.18 seconds. He is so strong in the power lifts, he didn't have trouble lifting the car at all. Well, his time is a time to beat, Paul. 51.18. Next up, Steve Bourgeois. There's the model. Versus Christian Savoie. So these guys are going in the zone right now, both of them. Approximately 6'3", 6 6'4". 6 Steve Bourgeois a little heavier. Concentration, a key factor here. Now, Hard on the traps as well. Now very, you can feel very, the feels tension. Like your shoulders are being pulled out at the roots. Now, they're strapped to the bars. This is so that it's not so much a test of grip strength, but grip does figure here. If your stra strap comes loose, you're in serious trouble. First time, 35.25. Steve still going. Steve's particularly good at this. He's mentally very strong. No I cannot believe with a, such a serious injury, this man can compete again. Well, that's testament to his fortitude. Let me tell you that. He, uh, he enjoys strongman. He loves strongman. He is a strongman. Yeah. And an excellent one at that. Real technician here. He's hardly moving. Notice he's planted, solid as a tree. 
He's not even shaking. Come on, Steve. Now he's got a he's big gonna beat the got... minute, big time. Yep, I'm sure he will. Look at this. Judges will provide us with the correct time. 76.72 seconds. The best so far. You mentioned that you went to your happy place during this event. Did your happy place change at all? Yeah, there was nothing happy about that. Uh, I don't know. I, I just couldn't breathe at the end there. I was just about to pass out, so I should have probably hung on a little bit longer, but what are you going to do? Well, he did very well. 76.72 seconds, the time to beat. Up next are Dominique Barabay and Roberto Saint-Pierre. Roberto Saint-Pierre is a bench press world record holder. Is he? Pressing 551 pounds, 198 pound body weight. Berube, extremely strong. He's a plumber from Laval, about 290 pounds, 6'2". Haven't seen much of Dominique Berube in the regional scene. Roberto made his debut last year at this contest. He's been training really, really hard for strongmen. Well, maybe they started after seeing last year's series on TSN. Quite possibly. You never know. But with arms like those of Berube, I know he's been training for a long time. Look at them go here, Paul. Yep. Crowd's cheering them on. One down at 42.06 seconds. Now, Roberto's not a big man in this contest. Only 250 pounds. Hanging on really, really well. 50.14 seconds for Roberto. You should be proud of that. Yep. Very well-spoken man. Okay, we continue. Now, it's Jesse Snadden versus... Stéphane Boucher. Stéphane Boucher just coming off his great victory at the Makamik Championship. Jesse Snadden does train with Hugo Girard. I like this young man. He's really intelligent. He really thinks through his training. Stéphane took a two-year layoff, making his comeback last year at this contest. He's gained about 15 pounds since last year. Looks really good. What did Hugo, uh, what was Hugo Girard's performance like on this kind of event? <laughs> we'll see at the Canadians. Okay. We'll have to wait a little bit. 40.76 seconds, the first time out. Castano's going very well here. He's about 6'2". He's lean, really lean. And it's 47.75 seconds. Still the time to beat is Steve Bourgeois' performance. Here on the replay, you can see just striving so hard to hang on. Very good position, slight backward lean. That's the way to hold the car, Paul. Okay, Yannick Normandin is going against Patrick Lemieux. Patrick Lemieux with a powerlifting background, known for his incredible feats of grip strength. He's the first Quebecer to officially close the number three captains and crush, silver crush gripper, which takes over 280 pounds of force to shut with one hand. Yannick Normandin, a powerlifting champion, national champion. He's gonna be really stable in the hips and legs here in lower back. Notice the stance of Patrick yep. Lemieux, slightly wider. He chooses that stance to ground himself better. No oh, you can feel the pain. 40.37 seconds. He He's had that look. Cheering on Yannick. Yep. You see the traps stretching their shoulders being pulled down. Remember, that's 650 pounds at the bars. Unbelievable. Come on, he's going for the time here. He's going. Oh, for a second there, I almost thought he could have beat Steve, but 61.09 seconds. I believe it's the second best time so far. Yannick is saying here that basically it's like a deadlift to get the lift moving, and then it's a mental battle. You're fighting yourself. You have to have to fight the mental war, and it's an extremely difficult lift because it takes all your energy out of you. All right, the big boys, Dominique Filiou, 400 and what? 28 pounds. Oh, and rising. man. He's going head-to-head -head against Jessen Poulain. Now, these guys have competed against each other numerous times. This so. would be the big round. Let's see if one of them can beat Steve Bourgeois' time. He was well over 70 seconds, let's not forget. Now, look at the mass difference here. On your right, Jessen is 310 pounds, 6'3". He is a little leaner than last year, we yes, have to admit. He's got a lot more lean muscle mass on him, but look at the size of Filiou. Oh, unreal. They're hanging on well, both of them in the zone right now. 
The trick here is to remain immobile. Don't shift around. Got to keep your feet flat, slight backwards lean. Keep your shoulders up when you can. Try not to let them sag. As soon as you let the spine sag, ooh, you're in trouble. It looks like he's leaning on the car. Now remember, these two guys are tied for first place. Yes, matter of fact, yes. Notice oh, they're, they're going to be. A bit. They will beat Steve Bourgeois' time. Jessen struggling just a little bit. He's trying. Oh, you can feel the pressure and Dominic in the zone. Dominic hardly moving at all. Jessen takes a quick look over at Dominic. Still hanging on. Yeah, top. he's shaking. That's it. 80.03 seconds for Jessen Poulin. And Dominic Filiu follows. At 85.04, the best time of the event. Head to head, then, what were you thinking going up against each other? Dominic? Never won against Jason. He's got a superhuman grip. And uh, I just gave him my best. At the end, I think I thought that my shoulder was uh, going to rip off my body. I was, I was uh, ready to go over one minute, but I dropped it before him, so... Butter is still two events left, so we'll see what happens. All right, Dominic Filiu picks up this event. 85.04 seconds, picks up 12 points. He's followed by Justin Paulin, close behind at 11 points. Steve Bourgeois, Normandie, Bono, and St. Pierre. After three events, the Canadian Colossus Dominic Filiu moves ahead of the champion by one point. Paulin's in second, 34. Bourgeois in third. Stay tuned because I'm bigger than you. Gary will continue on TSN after this break. Man, I'm faster than most of the competitors because I'm younger. I'm in shape, I'm strong, and I'm ready this year to go to Canada's strongest man. Crowd ready for the next event, but first, Strongman Chronicle. Strongman Chronicle, a presentation of North American van lines. Strongman Chronicle with Eric Murray, Strongman Historian. Canada has a long and rich history and strength, and Quebec in particular has been called the cradle of strongmen. In this series, we will profile a few of our most outstanding strongmen. Camera, action! He was called the king of strength and recognized as one of the strongest men in Canada. In Quebec, he was a folk hero. Victor de Lamar was born on September 24, 1888, in Iberville, near Lac Saint-Jean, Quebec. At 5 feet 8 inches and 155 pounds, he could scale a ladder, pulling a 1,000-pound horse up behind him. De Lamar supported a bridge on his chest, over which a car was driven. The total weight held was 4,500 pounds. Victor could lift a 201-pound barbell from the floor with one finger, and he was able to bend quarters and 50 cent pieces with his massive hands. But his most impressive feat of strength was a left arm bent press of an incredible 309 and one half pounds. The one time Montreal policeman's body was like iron to the touch and he was renowned for his muscularity. On March 13th, 1955, De Lamar died and became one of Canada's strength legends. All right, they want more, we will give them more. Next up is the shield walk, Sammy. Competitors have to walk with a 385 pound shield made of metal for as long as possible, as far as possible. All right, first up is Jean-Pierre Hull. Notice the grip here. This is known as the Zerker position, but they have to support by the handles using the crooks of their arms. Very difficult, very tough on the bicep. Oh, man. Now, it's 30 meters from line to line, and they have to walk as far as possible in, well, as long as they can. <laughs> no time factor involved here. None. Let's set some timing records. Come on. He's moving very well here. Now, the difficulty is in breathing, supporting it, keeping it up there. You see the shape is very awkward. Very, very difficult to hold the shield that way, Paul. Oh, uh, he's starting to struggle just a little bit. Grip is slipping. Remember, this is almost double his body weight. Unbelievable. Well done, 47.11 meters. All right, 
second competitor, Jason Bolin. The myth has been a picture in the Canadian strength athletic scene for years. He's very successfully represented Canada at the World's Strongest Man competition. If there's someone who can establish a new record today on this event, would be... Oh, oh well, what was this? That. He chose to put his hands low so he could hang on to it longer, and his grip slipped. That is not going to help at all. He's hanging on by pure bicep strength oh, he's now. he's going to drop it. He will drop he's it. He's running, though. He's still going to make some good distance here. Good technique. Turning around. There we go. He, look at yeah, that. he dropped it. Oh. You know what? 32.97 meters. Paul, that was a good gamble, though, hanging on low like that. You know, sometimes you take a chance and it doesn't pay off. All right, Dominic Filiu. He's big enough to clasp his hands. Now, notice he's very large, so breathing will be a problem here. He's moving quite well. Oh, this looks like a cakewalk for him. Look at him. He's leaning back there. He's going to be feeling it in the quads pretty soon, despite his size. If he can just hang on, keep his grip, he should be okay. Oh, he's feeling it now. Yep. Oh. He's got to extend back. Man. 34.68 meters. I would have expected a better performance. Nevertheless, that was good performance. You can see as soon as he lost his fingertip grip, that was it. Yep. All right, as we continue, it is... Frankie Bono's turn. The Bulldog. Notice now with shorter arms, he can only hang on by two fingers. Look at his grip. Moving very fast. Yeah, but fast he's moving forward. fast indeed, yes. That's the strategy here. He can't hang on forever, so he's moving as fast as possible. This is his strength. The ability to move with heavy, heavy weight. Doing quite well here, Frankie. This is uh, like a, a sissy walk. I named after <laughs> Sisyphus. I'm serious, Sisyphus. 45.45 meters, I believe that's the best distance within time. Steve Bourgeois. Now look at the grip there. Oh, oh, oh. Now that's same mistake, right? Well, I wouldn't call it a mistake. It's more of a gamble there, trying to hang on. And sometimes it pays off. Look at him go, though, using a lot of bicep strength there. Very methodical is Steve Bourgeois. Oh, you never know. Seems to be okay. Well, keeping an isometric contraction of the biceps with near 400 pounds. And I can't believe, after such a serious injury, he can still compete and do so well. Well, he's still, uh, oh, look at that. That's not bad at all, 38.78 meters. <laughs> he expected better. Yeah, he's a little disappointed. Take a look here, you can see the implement slowly slipping, and finally his biceps give out. Let's see what Stéphane Boucher can do. Stéphane's moving well here. He's one of the lighter competitors. See the grip once again. He's got his elbows fastened very, very tight to the shield. He's also moving well. Usually the lighter guys move a little quicker, but not always. Maybe it's a difference in the step, in the pace. He's practically jogging with that weight there. <laughs> 400 pounds. He's very, very lean, very athletic. I think he's gonna do very good. Yes, Paul, very well. Let's go, let's go. Using the power belt. Now, they can't support the shield with the belt or any other piece of equipment. Oh, but he is doing much better than I thought. Look at this. And choosing to put it down. Let's see the distance, 61.90 meters, best distance so far. He's very, very happy. Excellent performance. Yep. And last but not least, it's Jesse Snap. He has some great expectations here, and so do his fans. He loves the shield walk. He's got very, very strong legs and hips, leaning back well. He's got a good grip. Notice how he secured his left hand in his right. Over 60 meters is the distance to beat. Considering he's only 20 years old, he's got a long career ahead of him. The average age of a world-class competitor is mid-30s, with a few exceptions. But these guys can go on and compete into their 40s very easily. He did all right. Very good. 52.82 meters. I believe it's one of the three best. You came in first and second in this event. Jesse, at 20 years of age, you have your supporters over here. Did you think that you were going to take this event? I was pretty sure I was going to be one of the top. And 
But I did know that if there was going to be one person who was going to beat me in this event, it was Stefan. I was sure of it. Stefan Boucher picks up the event and the 12 points. He's first, followed by Staten with 11 points. Ull with 10. Bono, Bourgeois, and Savoie follow. And after four events, Dominic Filiu still in the lead by one point. But Steve Bourgeois has moved into second. It's absolutely amazing. And the defending champ, the Myth, is in third. Don't touch that dial. The North American Van Lines Canadian Strength Athlete Series continues on TSN after this. About the, the weights, uh, I, I, still th I seem to think that uh, we should do some tests and get a, a scale out here for Dominic because it looks much lighter for him. Every event that he does, it doesn't seem to be the same weights. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Just your imagination, Steve. Up next is the medley, Sam. 25-foot farmer's walk with 265 pounds a hand, one 200-pound barrel, one 200-pound sandbag. <laughs> Grueling, but fast. Keystone Savoie is up against... Jesse Snadden. All right, they're moving fast here. Olympic pick up the barrels. They have to put them flat, right? That's right. Perfectly upright, Paul. And the sandbags. Very, very difficult to grip. He's done. He is done. Jesse's time is 23.12. Not enough to beat Christian. 17.58 seconds. Up next, Dominique Birubé. Up against Jean-Pierre Houle. Now remember, that's 530 combined weight. They're going to run with this for 25 feet. Oh, man. Don't lose the grip. Don't lose the grip. Well put. It's an incredible test of grip and overall body strength. Barrel must be put flat on the surface. And the referees will make sure that happens. And the sandbags. Move it. Pounds. Move it. Good move by Houle. I wonder if the military trained for this. 19.70 seconds is the best time of the two, 21.90. Now it's Yannick Normandin versus... Stéphane Bouchy. Yep. Stéphane, real speedster yeah, here. No kidding. Look at him go. 200 pounds of barrel. Difficult hand holds. And I'll tell you, it's really, really hard to lift a heavy sandbag, Paul. Well done. Dead weight. Stefan's got the best time of the two, 17.53 seconds now compared to 21.34, yes. The top four in this contest gets to go to the Canadians, and the top three guys are separated by only one point each. Here on the replay, we can see the fast foot movement of Stefan Boucher versus Yannick Normandin, Canadian powerlifting champion. It's going to be tight. It's going to be a tight race. Frankie Bono is going up against Jessen Paulin. Now, this is for the championship here. Remember, these guys aren't separated by a lot of points. Look, Look at, at them go. go. Ooh, oh, almost a stumble there. Whoa. Look at him go. This is so close, so close. Come on, Jessen. Oh, Frankie picks up the win. Frankie beat Jessen. Yeah, Frankie beat Jessen by a few hundredths of a second, maybe a couple of seconds. 16.89 is his best time. Wow, look at the explosion of these guys, too. Oh, oh man. Wow, Frankie is happy with his performance. Take a look here on the replay. Frankie just scooping up that 200-pound sandbag, just having a little trouble there, gripping it up. Should have grabbed it in the middle. Very, very difficult to load these. And the grand finale. Steve is in a position to take this contest. What a comeback. Steve a Bourgeois comeback. against Dominique Filiu. One point apart for the Quebec Strongest Man title. This is it. Let's go. Oh, look at them go here. They're neck and neck. Oh, yeah. It's really, gonna really be, well. oh man, it's gonna be tight. Look at that. Oh boy, they are really, really tight. All Steve needs to do is finish just ahead oh, of Dominic and he will close. take the title. Come on. Look at this. Oh. Oh, oh. man. Unfortunate. Dominic Field, you got the best time. 17.05 oh. seconds. That Steve. cost Steve about five seconds. 22.33. Oh. Here's a replay. Now look at this here. They're neck and neck, but Steve just a few steps ahead. Look yeah, at this. He would have picked up and the he lead and he flips. chest first into the stage. Guys, that was an extraordinary performance. Steve, that little stumble there at the end. You want to talk about it? What can I say? I think that cost me the, the title and uh, tried a little too hard. A little overexcited. We'll see what happens.
I feel sorry for Steve Frankie. Bono picks up the best time on this event, therefore gets the 12 points. Followed by Filiou, Boucher, Savoie, Paulin, and Ull. Don't go anywhere. We'll have the final standings in the North American Van Lines Canadian Strength Athlete Series on TSN after this. For the, the other guys, I have a message. Just uh, keep on pushing weight and don't stop. And if I don't win this year, the next year, and if it's not next year, the year after, I won't quit. Needn't you worry, Dominic. You won with a full five-point lead. With 50 points, Justin Poling follows with Bono, Bourgeois, Boucher, and Savoy. Now remember, the top four get to go to the Canadians, and Bourgeois gets to go. And Normandin is number seven, followed by Snadden, Oul, Biruby, Saint-Pierre, and Lemieux. Let's go see Sammy and the winners. Steve, I think you should be really proud of yourself. Coming back from that serious back injury, you almost took it all today. Yeah, I'm just mostly uh, disappointed that Frankie beat me for the first time. <laughs> and uh, I took the advice of Dominic, who said, just whatever you do, run as fast as you can. And I kind of ran too fast. So, no, I mean, uh, all, all things considering, uh, you can't make any mistakes in this uh, caliber of, of competition, especially in Quebec where it's top-notch, like uh, Justin said. So uh, we, we'll see what we can do with the Canadians. How do you feel, then, about going to the Canadians as Quebec's strongest man? I feel uh, really good about it, but I know it's going to put a lot of pressure on me. But, uh, you know, I'll train uh, hard like I did before this contest to uh, prepare myself, and uh, I'll do my best, the Canadians. If you want to know more about the Strength Athlete Series, visit fcaf.ca. And here is the new champ. On behalf of Sam Dubé, I'm Paul Borgard. Thanks for watching the North American Van Lines Canadian Strength Athlete Series on TSN. We'll catch you next time.